This is not a typical car factory. It's a unique place where 17 specialists assemble the Bugatti Veyron by hand. For the assembly, we have in total 17 workers. There are some mechanical, some electrical people, and the people for the bodywork. First, they carefully move the rear frame, complete with its wing struts, into position to bolt it to the engine and transmission. The car ends up in three sections. Each sits on columns that rise up from the floor. Their tops embossed with the Atori Bugatti logo. There are no greasy car lifts or jacks because this is not a typical car factory. Inside the atelier, they build cars the way you would build an airplane. The rear, middle, and front of the car are slowly pushed together by hand. Hoses and electrical contacts carefully connected. When they're certain everything is perfectly lined up, they bolt the car together. You have to imagine the rear part is connected to the front part only with 14 bolts. Just 14 bolts each made from titanium. Each bolt costs $100. For me, this car is more airplane than, than a car. Unlike regular cars, there's no frame in the middle of the Veyron. The passenger compartment is built with what's called monocoque construction. Just like an airplane fuselage, the skin or outer shell is what makes the middle of the car rigid and strong. Incredibly strong. The entire monocoque middle of the car weighs only 240 pounds, but has double or even triple the strength of an average car body. This uh, complete assembly in carbon fiber, um, we, we are achieving the, the stiffest and uh, one of the strongest cars in the world. The Veyron is also one of the most tested cars in the world. Before they add the remaining bodywork, they roll the chassis into a test chamber. They fire the engine, and for the very first time, the car's huge tires feel the might of 1,001 horsepower. To complete the car, they place handcrafted covers on top of the turbocharger radiators. Aluminum body panels are polished. And then very carefully aligned and bolted to the car. It takes about four to five weeks from the beginning of the assembly of the chassis till the finishing with the polishing and the delivery of the car. Each finished Veyron is then road tested. Some of them on the only track in the world where Bugatti runs the Veyron to its top speed of 253 miles an hour.
One of the most extraordinary automobile test facilities ever built sits in the woods outside Wolfsburg, Germany. Protected by barbed wire on top of chain link fences. It's Volkswagen's super secret test facility, an airless scene. What happens here stays here. It is not allowed that airplanes cross the proving ground. I think it's necessary to keep these secrets really secret. Inside the gates sit 60 miles of private roads, including a high-speed oval track with a straightaway over five miles long. We are here in our proving ground in Erlesin, and we have a high-speed oval, and that allows top speeds in a very safe condition. The high-speed oval allows the Veyron to hit its top speed of 253 miles an hour. First, a few laps to warm up the car. Then, the driver accelerates into the next banked corner at about 155 miles per hour. Here, the Veyron is only using 280 horsepower. It needs its remaining 721 horsepower to reach its top speed. When the car comes out of the banked curve and onto the straightaway, you floor it and hang on. Warm up everything properly and then go to the curve and then after that, the next straight, you do it. At 253 miles an hour, the Veyron covers more than an NFL football field in one second. That's more than four miles in one minute. At max power, its turbochargers suck in the same amount of air in one minute that the driver would use to breathe for four days. At top speed, the Veyron gets three miles to the gallon. At that rate, its 26-gallon fuel tank runs dry in 12 minutes. speed is measured by a GPS unit on the dash. It's calibrated for Europe, so the magic number is 407 kilometers an hour. That's 253 miles an hour. So you have to learn when, what, how, take the steering wheel, center of the road, full throttle and wait. the car could actually go faster, as much as 260 miles an hour, but it's computer limited to 253. Above that speed, stability could become a problem. Every car, every single car is driven 500 kilometers to find every single little squeak and rattle and defect. After the final road tests, each car returns to the atelier. It now sits in a special light tunnel here, the car is inspected and polished for at least two full days. Perfect is not good enough. <laughs> I think that, that gives you a little bit of the, of, the, of the way of thinking you need to do a car like that. Finally, 
each new Veyron is wrapped inside a protective cover for shipment to customers around the world. People who want to own an extremely rare piece of mechanical art. Part airplane, part automobile. The Bugatti Veyron.